Okay, here we are on our Excel project 1B. This is part two of our project. Okay, right here on your desktop or wherever you saved it, please open up your Excel project. It's the green one. Okay, and this is where I believe we left off. Uh, we just formatted our title and heading. We typed in some different words. We spell checked it and we are ready to go. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to do some exploring. We're going to try and do some things. We're going to try and get um, multiple cells at once. So we're looking for B4 to D9. We're trying to get everyone from here down to here, all of this area. It's been hard for me. Sometimes my fingers can't do it. If we can't get them all, it's okay. We can enter the numbers one by one. But let's see if we can catch all those numbers together. So you've got to hover until it makes that little shape. And I can usually get across, but I usually can't get all the way down. It's hard for me. Oh, I got that one little area. You're supposed to get them all across. I couldn't. That's okay. Um, so what I was supposed to do is catch these cells and type one to so catch these, so I'll catch this row and then right here at the top I push 125 and push enter so that's what we want in the first box then, note, then you notice it's going down so we're just going to continue our line going down I'll tell you numbers, you type them in 1125 1125 enter 450, 450, enter. 1105, 1105, enter. 255, 255, enter. 215, 215, enter. Okay, so there we are. Now we need to get into the next cell for cell C4, right here. So we're going to have to move our icon over. Now we're in that lane on cell C4 is active. Okay, now we need the average cost info. So we have $15.50. 15.50. Enter. It puts us down to speed hurdle. We have $29.55. 29 decimal 55. Enter. One hundred twenty-five dollars and ninety-five cents. One two five decimal nine five. Enter. Eighteen dollars seventy-five cents. One eight decimal seven five. Enter. Eighty-five dollars and twenty-five cents. Eight five decimal. Two, five. Enter. And we have $49.95. Four, nine, decimal, nine, five. Okay, that finishes that row. Now we're going to go to D4. D4, we're going to put the retail price of all of these in. So we have $32.95. Three, two, decimal, nine, five. Enter. We have $59.95. Five nine decimal nine five. Enter. We have two hundred and fifty one dollars and fifty nine cents. Two five one decimal five nine. Enter. We have forty nine dollars and ninety five cents. Forty nine decimal ninety five. Enter. We have one fifty nine dollars hundred and fifty nine dollars and five cents. One five nine decimal zero five. Enter and the last number we need is ninety four dollars and ninety nine cents. Nine four decimal nine nine. Okay. And we'd like to save this. Please save our work. Click. Okay. The next thing we're going to do we have to do something called some mathematical operators. 
So we are going to click on cell E4. That's E right there for total retail. Something like that. We've got to click right there. E4. We need to type these things. We need the equal sign. B4. We need the star. That's um, shift eight. D4. And then press enter. So again, I have equals B4 star D4. And we notice that the two cells are outlined. And then we press enter and it totals everything up for us. Some more. Okay. Now we need to click cell E4 again. That's where we just were working. And you can see that in, in it should also light up cells E5 through E9, but since I wasn't able to catch all these together, it did not for us. But that's okay. Let's see if we can select our range again from B4 to B9. Ah, oh, now it's working for me perfectly. Okay, so if you can select all of those numbers, Then we need to go on the Home tab, so let's change that to Home. Click Home. Okay, in the Number Group, where's our number? Right here, Number Group. Click Comma Style, that one right there, Comma Style. Okay, so that put commas for us to make them look like real dollar numbers. Okay, now we also need something called decrease decimal. I don't know why we would need this, but it's going, uh, it's showing the dollars, the two zeros in dollars. So we want this one, it has, um, let's see, make sure it's the right one. It's called decrease decimal. Decrease decimal, there it is. This other one is increase decimal. So we make sure we have the decrease decimal. And we click that two times. One, two. And see, that's going to remove all the decimals, so we're only talking about whole dollars and no cents. Perfect. Now we can click away, click off that. We want to highlight the range E4 all the way down to E9. So let's come here to E4 and zoom all the way down to E9. Okay, highlight the whole E row. And on the bottom of your screen in the status bar, notice the displayed values for average, count, and sum. Let me see where that is. Average, count, and sum. Hmm. Yeah, I do not see that right now. Okay, I do not see average count or sum, but that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that this is all highlighted. In the lower right corner, there's a quick analysis, so let's let, light this up for a quick analysis. Right, lower right, quick analysis. Hmm. I do not see it. You have to light it up. again. Okay, there's nine.
Let's end there.